Module 2, Matter and Energy. Right about now, you're probably wondering what the heck are we uh, reading about matter and energy for. This is an air conditioning class. Hopefully, I can help define some of these terms and stress to you the important parts of this module for later on down the road. So the text starts out talking about solids, and it, it states that matter is in three states, solid, liquid, and gas or vapor. And if you remember from module one, when we were talking about water changing state, and we specifically, we talked about water changing state from liquid to gas. So this kind of carries, carries on this theme. So we start out with a block of ice. And remember, again, in module one, heat is uh, molecules in motion. And when we have a block of ice, the molecules are still moving, but they're not moving very quickly so they tend to adhere to each other and stick around stick to each other and not bounce off of one another so that gives ice its solid form and it starts out talking about how solids exert a pressure in a downward direction so then as this ice melts into water the molecules uh, are starting to move a little bit more they're wanting to bounce off of each other and move away from each other and in the liquid form a liquid is going, going to exert pressure in the downward direction and in the outward direction. Now that's a long way around to getting to the gas part that we uh, are concerned with in, with air conditioning. And what happens is when we t turn that liquid into a gas or water vapor, the molecules are bouncing around quite a bit. There's quite a bit of molecular motion and they are bouncing off of each other and wanting to fly away from each other. So if we put this cap back in the bottle and these molecules are bouncing all around in every diff different direction possible, the gas exerts equal pressure in all directions, up, down, sideways, in every direction possible. Okay, so so we let's go on to some definitions here. Now mass is the, you know, they give you this definition, property of matter that responds to gravitational attraction and weight, the force that matter applies to a supporting surface when it is at rest. So the long way around, that's a long way around to telling you that the more mass something has, the more that it weighs. And if you go, if we go back and we have, we have more mass and density in this vapor um, not only does it weigh more it's going to exert pressure more pressure in the, in every direction possible so if we have helium in here it's going to have less pressure forced on all surfaces of this container and then if we put air in there it's going to have more more pressure in this container Okay, specific gravity, it talks about the density of a substance divided by the density of water. You just need to know that um, for just for your general knowledge. And a lot of this specific volume and density and so forth is when it comes to air conditioning is, is used for the engineers when they design compressors, when they design um, fans to move air and so forth. Uh, they know they need to know the density and specific volume and specific gravity of of the refrigerants and at, at the temperatures that they are so that they can design motors and compressors that will do the job that needs to be done all right so make sure you study your definitions and, and you get that here's a quick example um, of specific gravity water is used as the the um, standard so this example gives you uh, the specific gravity of aluminum. So the way this works is the density of water which is 62.4 pounds per cubic feet and the density of aluminum 171 pounds per cubic foot. So you divide the density of aluminum by the density of water and you end up with a specific gravity of 2.2 seven four and when they say here the specific gravity is unitless it is not like 2.74 pounds inches cubic feet or so forth and it's just a way to compare different substances and and to see 
um, how they compare to each other as far as um, density and weight are concerned. And here it gives you some densities and specific gravities of some different substances just to show you some difference. All right, so hopefully that cleared just a little bit up for you. But the one thing that you need to remember is um, the molecules in motion of a vapor um, exerts force in all directions. In, in, in whatever container that it's in, the container that we'll be talking about is the air conditioning system itself. And that the more dense that vapor is, the more pressure it's going to exert. All right, so I will see you on the next video lesson.